Oh, hello friends. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany. We're in this video. I'm once again participating in Thrifty Thursday, which is an open collaboration that is hosted by my good friend Sherry of Turquoise Dreaming. And uh, what you're looking at are some of the things that I picked up over the last couple of weeks. And then this is actually a detail of something I've already shared. But let me start with these a couple of things here. The, these two ribbons were actually in a bag of... Um, ribbons in at the goodwill and i did not pay half price or anything for them they were marked at 349 and there were a whole bunch of bags that were ma marked at 349 and up uh with these large spools of ribbon obviously this one is already um you know there's still plenty here but it's been used up a lot and look how interesting it's purple on one side and the green on the other and i actually um somebody gave me a bottle of wine a long time ago with a ribbon just like this i thought that was interesting but the reason i got this bag was because of this ribbon i thought even at 349 and if you know me i'm super cheap and i try to get stuff for like next to nothing <laughs> or nothing if i can <laughs> um but you know look at this there is plenty of this ribbon and i just thought it was so pretty and versatile um it's this gauzy uh ribbon and it's got this lace print that is just printed on it it's not real lace you know it's just uh stamped or stent or you know just printed on it but i thought it was very pretty it is ribbon with a uh, wire on it so you can shape it so it's great for making bows or you know decorations whatever but of course you can always remove the wire and i usually save my wire because then i use it as little needles to thread you know beads and things with so um I definitely will get use of this. I thought it was definitely worth the three fifty for these two beautiful ribbons. It looks like it's the kind that are um, at Sam's Club, I believe, uh, every uh, season, and um, I really like them. So I think I'll be able to use them. I'm thinking maybe um, as pockets and journals, or lots of different things, and maybe also as decorations and for Christmas and things like that. So anyway, there's that. Then there's this bag of lace, which um, I got at the same time I got that huge haul of lace that I already shared. But for some reason, this bag got left behind. I got it at the uh, craft rummage sale I went to a few weeks ago and it was a dollar. That's how much I paid for it. I definitely thought it was worth the dollar. Even just looking at this lace right here, I thought it was very pretty and nice quality. And uh, I always love this scalloped like lace. So, um, you know, there's a decent amount in here. Let's look at this. There's also a little bit of this one. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, that is just so delicate. It almost looks like crochet or tatty, but it's so tiny and delicate. Isn't that beautiful? And there's only a little bit of that. Maybe, oh, uh, yeah, maybe not even a yard of this this piece and then i don't know like 18 inches of that but that is beautiful i'll definitely use that and then this one it's a little bit more common but it's still very pretty it's a little piece of that and then let's see what else is wound up here oh look at this this is another one of that nice you know tatted kind of look to it i think this is tatted check it out look how pretty isn't that beautiful? So that's a nice little bundle of that lace or trim. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, this one's got a pin on it. And it's more of that more common one. But look how pretty it is. I love the detail at the top there. And there's just a little bit of that. Let's put the pin back on it so I don't pin, pinch myself <laughs> later. Okay. And let's see, let me just dump this out here. Okay, there's this pretty blue one. This looks like it may have come as a seam binding, you know, in those seam binding packets. It's, I, it's just that style. I've seen them in, <clears throat> in those seam binding packets. Oh, look at this. And these are all definitely vintage. I mean, I have no doubt that these are vintage. Another one of those little delicate ones. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. I see this as a little belly band. Uh, maybe on top of a, some pretty paper that would, you know, come through there. And I've got a decent amount of that too. How beautiful is that? 
think I'm going to keep these laces just handy next to me so I use them up. Oh, and this is very pretty. Kind of an eyelet style, but it's, uh, you know, lacy material. And this one feels a little stiff, but also very pretty. Let's see. Look at that. How cute. I can see this like under like some cafe curtains. <laughs> okay. And look at this. A light up. Uh, this guy, okay, so it's got ribbon stitched behind it. It's got this pink ribbon stitched behind this pretty lace. Isn't that nice? It's like a, a baby pink. So it feels a little bit stiff because the ribbon is like a, it's not, it's like a satiny ribbon, but that stiffer one, you know? So it's not grow grain. It's more satiny, but yeah. And then a, a piece, ooh, a nice little piece of this. Um, it almost looks like a little banner, you know, but it's a pointy ribbon. Very pretty. And I think this is the last one. Another one of those. Oh, it's more of this. <gasps> nice. A nice little uh, quantity of that. So definitely worth a dollar. I am so happy with this little bunch of ribbon. Um, because I, I just really think they're really, really nice ones. Even though there weren't those huge quantities like I um, like the other bag I showed you. I had like big bolts of stuff. But these are nice uh, quality vintage um, laces. So yay. I love these. Okay. So... Um, I want to show you this in that huge free haul that I shared a while back. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. Uh, this was in one of the tin cans. Check it out. It's not super old, but it's just um, a magazine article um, about the Conseco Field House in Indianapolis. And it's got the, like the all the map of the stadium. Um, I believe it's like a stadium, home of the Indiana Pacers. So it's like a basketball. I don't know if they call it field. I'm not a basketball person. And check it out. It's got these, um, there's a ticket, an airline ticket to Indianapolis. I'm trying to find the date. Oh, here we go. T November 10th. Doesn't have the year. Main cabin. Okay, here we go. And the tickets. Um, obviously not that old. It's a got a dot com. Here it is. The Phoenix Suns versus the Indiana Pacers. Now, the Phoenix Suns are the local um, team. I'm in Arizona. And this person went to see the Suns in Indiana. Check it out. In 2000. 2-7-2000. Uh, I guess that's when they purchased it. But this is for March 2nd, 2000. It's 7 p.m. How cool is that? And then this one is for October 30th, 1999. Okay, so that's when they went to the Conseco Field House in 1999. And they just throw that in there as well in their little collection. And then this one is also from March. So these are two tickets. And isn't that cool? So this one is technically vintage because it's 99. Um, let's see, 99. Is it? Yeah. We're in 2020 already. So yeah, it's over 20 years. How cool. 2021. What year are we in? <laughs> no idea. So I thought that was really cool. It was inside one of the tin cans that I got for free at a um, free yard sale. So, and then these were also in there, these cards. Um, and I just showed them like this in my that haul, and I said I would come back and show in more detail. So I figured this would be a good time to do that. So let me just dump them out, and look how pretty they are. I'm just going to go really quick. Let me zoom in a little bit so I don't have to. Okay. So I put this one on top because it's my favorite. I already went through this. I actually recorded this video already, and I realized the recorder wasn't on my phone. I was using my husband's phone, and... Uh, long story. I'm not going to go into it, but um, yeah, I hadn't pressed record, so I'm having to redo this. I'm getting a big um, deja vu here, but um, I really love that card. And look how cute these little kids and the daisies. Dear Julie, Julie would like that. <laughs> and then these 
gorgeous little kids with all that quilted edging around. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness, I just love these. Here's another pretty one, a little girl in the lo looking at the bird. <laughs> Happy birthday. And I mean, I'm not going to open these on the inside. They're pretty standard. And then that's a nice um, photo card. Check this out. How many? Oh, oh my goodness. This is really cool. A birthday recipe for you. What a nice idea for a birthday card. So you put your recipe here and that's the, like a little gift and look at the egg basket and the carrots. <laughs> that is so cool. Cool. Cut out recipe card for use in standard recipe box. That is a really neat idea. Awesome for a cookbook journal, right? Oh, I hope I was in frame. There it is. See it? There it is. There it is. I have the a phone kind of high. Oh, I love this. Look at this. It's got glitter on it. And it's got the scallop edging. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, these definitely are vintage cards. And look how pretty on the inside. And it's one of those that opens up. So, I mean, you know, it's a lot of nice paper to work with. How cute. Made in USA, of course. Another one with a little bit of a scalloped or deckled edge like that. And it's got glitter on it. And I'm opening these because I'm thinking they have images on the inside. Um, but if I think they're plain, I'm not going to. Yeah, that's just blank. Another beautiful card with the butterfly there. Little bear with the honey. <laughs> um, a sympathy card, but it's a very pretty image. And that's pretty too. And it's got a Bible verse on the inside. I've got a lot to show you. So I'm going kind of really quick. We got a little clock. That's so cool. Yellow rose. Pretty anniversary with the bells. Look at the seagull. That's a very pretty for masculine um, card. These are kind of pretty standard birthday cards. These are the kind of cards that came in like an assortment. Like this is like it was an assorted greeting card box. So... But they're kind of cute, and they are a little bit vintage. Okay, here's some uh, envelopes. Oops, envelopes for these. Oh, these are really cool. These are all, like, um, scripture cards, and um, they're the kind that also open up, you know? But it's got a verse on the inside and then an image here. Look how pretty. Always light, sheltered by faith, lovely ministries. And then these are just blank inside. And these are Thomas Kincaid. Always recognize him. There was a Thomas Kincaid gallery in the uh, a mall in Florida that was near me. And I used to love to go in there because they always showed you they dimmed the lights just so you could see how, you know, the paintings just um, looked like they were lit, right? <laughs> it's really cool. So that's one box of cards. Aren't they precious? And then here's another one. And I even like this box. It says Regal Luster. It says three-dimension all location cards. Interesting. I don't think that those are the ones that are in here, but um, again, more of the same. I don't remember if there was anything super interesting in here, but so I'm just going to flip through really quick, although that's a really cool card right there. I always love masculine cards because they're sometimes hard to find. That's pretty, just a picture there. To my special friend, anniversary. Look at those daffodils. Oh, and then there was a pack of these blank cards, American Greetings. So these are probably not vintage. They remind me of something you might find at the dollar store, but there's a bunch more than you get at the dollar store. You should get like, I think, six or eight at the dollar store. Here's some envelopes and some more of these assorted birthday cards. Oh, these are pretty. They're papery again. Do they open up? Yep, they open up. And they have a big picture inside and a small one in the outside. That's very interesting. I love it. And it's got a verse, too. And like I said, I'm just kind of going fast because I got more to show you. Oh, I love these pictures on the inside. Look at the little swans. You know, these would make, like, awesome covers even like this. I mean, this is a journal right here. <laughs> wow. I, I might actually do that with those, you know, um, sturdy it on the inside. Or maybe just cut the image out. But can you see that? And then you have the verse on the back. That might be an idea. I don't know. Let me know what you think. In a loving prayer, get well soon. A lot of get well cards. Now that your operation is over. <laughs> Aw, how cute. 
It's a lot of get well cards. This person had maybe like a, you know, ministry of sending get well cards. That's really nice. Okay. Oh, look at the cat. That reminds me of, okay, hold, who does that? Carol's Recrafted Boutique or her Snowbell, I believe is her cat's name. It says, sorry, you're, you're ill. Hope you'll be perfectly well real soon. That is cute. But, you know, you can just cut that off and it's a cute card. And, oh, my goodness, cat lovers, check that out. Is that not gorgeous? Wow. Love it. Two awesome cat cards. These are pretty watercolor cards. And uh, congratulations. Uh, sailboats. Okay. I definitely thought those were awesome. I would have totally paid it. A couple of bucks for that in a thrift store but i got them for free which is even better okay and then this i also got for free this book of christmas hold on i gotta move this over let's drop it to my side here oh, if you could only see next to me okay <laughs> all right book of christmas isn't this cool so i'm not gonna do um i know you're peeking over there i know you're peeking over there i know you okay um, I'm not going to do a full flip through, but I just wanted you to see how pretty this cover is. Look, the dust jacket even has nice images. If I wanted to, I could cut them out. But um, after flipping through the first time, I've decided I'm not going to rip this book apart. It's just too pretty. Look at this. It's probably going to be one of my Christmas books that I pull out at Christmas. Let me back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing because it just um, it's just in good shape and it just has tons of lovely artwork of Christmas including of course the reason for the season which is the birth of Jesus and I love that it's got a lot of artwork about that and then and that's the first part of the book and then the second part of the book has other traditional stories about Christmas and um you know the gift of the magi i love that story the first time i read it i think i cried <laughs> and if you don't know it look it up because it's it's one of my favorites okay and uh yeah so i'm keeping this book because it's probably one that i'll pull out and maybe i'll sit down with with lane who she's our only little one right now and we can read through some of these stories you know during um christmas time uh a Christmas alphabet. How cool. So maybe these are even like, uh, yeah, you know, Reader's Digest does this where they collect like different books and put them in one place. And this is, I think, that kind of a thing. How cute is this? So yeah, this is just going to go in my Christmas book collection and check it out. I love it when I find stuff like this. So this is a, uh, the, the order form so you can order more of these books like as gifts and stuff isn't that cool now that i might i'm gonna pull out to use um probably as ephemera that is really really cute so let me get that out this is gonna go in my christmas collection and last but not least oh my word check this out this i got at the rummage sale and i didn't negotiate a deal for it i think she was asking like three dollars per per magazine and I got there late I got there at one and she had these like in a file box and it had obviously got been gone through already obviously people had already maybe bought you know the nice I don't know they had been picked through so at three dollars each I said okay that is not you know for my my thrift to sell it's not like super cheap but it's not bad so I was looking through them and I asked what she wanted for the whole thing. And I think she took a couple of bucks off. I don't remember exactly now how much I paid for all of these, but it was less than $3 a piece. So I was really happy for that. And um, so I'm just going to go through real, real quick. The oldest one in here, let me see, is this one. I'll start with that. I'm not going to do the best for last type of thing. <laughs> this is the oldest one. It's from 1967, October. And isn't that just adorable? Look at that. It was a Woman's Day, 15 cents. I'm really surprised at how big the magazines are. Um, but I just, oh, look how beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> um, and these are awesome for um, the ads and the pictures. Look how colorful. <laughs> I just, ooh, and this is like a little catalog right here. Yeah, shopping center. Check it out. All these little trinkets. And you know what I find interesting and cool is some of these things sometimes you will find at thrift stores, right? Like some of these things. How funny. Let me see if I can find one of those things. I'm always finding at the thrift store in here. 
I, I like these pencils with your name on them and stuff like that. How cool. Oh, look at the Fisher Price little wheel. So anyway, oh, oh, look at this. It's got a little cookbook inside that you can cut out, see? And, um, you know, put in your own like binder or whatever. How beautiful these pictures. Oh, how funny. Yeah, it's the October book. So it's got all these costumes, <laughs> like DIY costumes. Out of this world Halloween costumes to make. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing a complete flip through of this right now. If you want to see like a page by page flip through of any of these magazines or all of them, whatever, I don't mind doing that. I did that recently for a friend. Um, if you saw my gem book, now I know I, that type of thing is not for everyone, but if you want to see it, I will put it up on my channel so it's there for you. But, um, yeah, let me know so that I can do that before I start tearing into these books because I'm definitely going to be, oh, look, this one's already torn. <laughs> definitely going to be pulling out pictures um, to make ephemera and to put in my glue book because I'm really enjoying my glue book um, or glue booking. So I was 78. This is um, October 78. And let's see, what, what is this? Where does it say the date? May 77. <laughs> oh, I'm just loving this. Um, September 78, best sellers to make for your bazaar. Oh, that might be fun. Like making some retro uh, crafts to, to sell, right? Oh, check it out. Bazaar bestsellers. Yep, I've seen these things. <laughs> okay. And then look at these ladies' home journals. And the neat thing is that these are all from 1970, which is my birth year. Now, unfortunately, the January issue isn't here. I'm a January baby. But still, these are fun. So we got July 1970, August 1970, October, March, February, September, and May. Oh, one more. June, two more, <laughs> and April, April 1970. Okay, so the, I have all these from 1970. I'm just going to flip by and show you the fronts and maybe the backs. I didn't show you the backs of these. Oh, oh my goodness. The, the ads are awesome. Let me just show you the backs really quick of these. Oh, I did show you that one. Okay, so I'm going to show you the front and the back. And like I said, if you, <laughs> you want to see a flip through of any of these, I will be happy to do that because I would love to flip through anyway. I haven't had a chance to look at these page by page. Um, actually, that's not true. I did. I think the first day I got them, I did kind of flip through them, but you know, I don't remember everything. And it's kind of nice also to have that flip through on a video because especially if I want how <laughs> pretty, if I want to cut them up and stuff, I'll have a record of what was in there. You know, how pretty. Breck, remember Breck? <laughs> Are they still around? I don't even know. This is all green. How pretty. There we go. Ain't the cute little baby. Is she eating the flower? <laughs> okay, and this is like another one there. So, yeah. I mean, how fun. I mean, they're big uh, magazines, and some, a lot of the images are really big like this, so they don't lend themselves to uh, journals, but, like, the, there's little things like this, too. You know, oh, I love avocados. I love that picture. Actually, I think I'm going to have to cut that picture out. But, yeah. Um, look at this. We've seen these, right? And I love it when they have, um, you know, the little uh, po coupons and things. Oh, speaking of coupons, oh, I got to show you this. I thought this was hilarious. One of these has coupons in it still. And, oh, here it is. Look at this. Seven cents. <laughs> Can you imagine? A coupon for seven cents. That's not even the tax. <laughs> so I got such a big kick out of that. Yep. All right, so that is my Thrifty Thursday haul for today. I really enjoyed doing this haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. And um, again, if you want to see a flip through, let me know in the comments. And also, don't forget to check out my friend Sherry's video of Turquoise Dreaming. 
maybe you came here from her channel. If so, welcome and thank you very much for, you know, hopping on. Um, but if you haven't yet, check her out because she will have a link to all of the other participants um, that have told her they're going to be participating in Thrifty Thursday. Um, and also, you can go ahead and use the hashtag Thrifty Thursday to find other videos like this. Um, as always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the time that you spend with me. And I hope you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.